So few uh, days before or a few months before, we had a study about second coming. So today we are going to see and touch uh, some of the points uh, regarding our second coming of our Lord. Now, why do we need to study the second coming of our Lord? If you see, recently we studied about uh, Antichrist. Uh, we have clearly seen from the Bible what is the meaning of triple six. Uh, because uh, many people had uh, a false belief that uh, it is a memory chip, uh, it is the card reader, it is the barcode. That will be compulsory implemented all over the world. So various people had uh, various ideas that a few leaders in this world, they are the Antichrist. They will come and rule the world as a, a single man and a, a dictatorship and everybody will uh, fall down and worship uh, to him. But you have seen clearly from the Bible that the uh, Antichrist uh, is not a one that is going to come. Because in the days of Apostle itself, uh, many Antichrists were there. That's what uh, Apostle John clearly mentions in First John, 2nd chapter 18 and 19. So if there are many Antichrists uh, during the days of Apostles, the natural question that comes to our mind is that, then what is the meaning of uh, uh, Antichrist? So we clearly saw in the study of Antichrist that uh, Antichrist is not a a person, but it is a system, a corrupt religious system. So we saw also that uh, the seal that is uh, put on their head and their hand uh, is not a little seal, but that uh, seal is a seal of uh, knowledge and intellect. So one who acknowledges the false doctrine of that great antiquity system, who accepts it, uh, you see, that means that they're putting the seal upon the head. The one who supports the system, that evil system, that false system, it is like, uh, you see, uh, putting a seal on the hand. And uh, only those uh, persons who has this seal, that means who accept this doctrine, will be permitted to uh, do transactions in the world, so give and sell. So we have clearly seen all these things. Uh, and uh, we also saw the number of triple six. The triple six is not a little... Uh, uh, triple six, uh, but it is. But the Bible gives that uh, a clue from the Revelation thirteen chapter eighteen verse that is a number of a man. So he that has wisdom, let him count it. So we all saw how we calculated how to calculate this number triple six from uh, the Bible. Pope has various titles, and one of the important titles is Vicarious Felidi. So, Vicarious uh, Philidi, uh, it was a Roman, uh, you see, uh, num numericals, uh, Norman uh, numericals uh, has uh, alphabets, uh, each and every alphabet represents a number. So, if you see that one, uh, this is also a, a Roman Latin language. So, Vicarious Philidi, if you count each and everything, uh, each and every letter, we come to know that uh, all the total comes to triple six. So it is all signifying to the great Antichrist corrupt religious system. Okay. Now, as we saw that uh, Antichrist has already come and his main peak period is over, then a natural question that comes to our mind is uh, when and how will our Lord second coming happen? So how will our Lord Jesus uh, second coming be? When will our Lord uh, come and why he will come? What is the purpose of his coming? So these things uh, we need to study. Okay. Now before going through this study, uh, let us uh, read what Apostle Paul tells in Second Thessalonians, second chapter one to three. Uh, home brother, uh, uh, can you read or uh, brother Ashish will read? How is it? You comfortable? You okay? Second Thessalonians. Second chapter the, one to three. Second chapter one to three. Actually, I have uh, both Bible, so I can do it in Nepali, or is it okay to do it in Nepali? Uh, 
which ever you are comfortable not a issue sir so, 1 to 3 yeah bars. okay i will read it in nepali bars <clears throat> सेकेंड चैप्टर वर्स वन टू थ्री यस या 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 अब ए भाई हरु हो हमरा प्रभु यीशु क्रिस्ट को आगमन र वहाँ का हमरो भेला होने विषय में हमें तीमी अलाइ बिंती कर दस हो मानो क्रिस्ट को दिन नजीक आए पुरी को छा दस्ते गरी दस्ते गरी आत्मा द्वारा वा बचन द्वारा वा हमी बाटा आए को सब ही आए को जस्तु पत्र द तिमी यी चाँड मन में थर थर नकाम नता विचलित हो कसले तिमी कुने रीति धोका नदिओस् कभी पैले धर्म पतन न आएसम रो पाप को पुरुष तो विनाश को पुत्र प्रकट नएसम तो दिन आने वेरी गुड ब्रदर सो ये पोल क्लि नट टू बिलीव एनीबडी who tells that uh, Christ has already come. But he also tells the reason when to believe. He says, first, uh, you see, there should be a falling away. And then the son of, the, then the man of sin be revealed. So these two things should happen before our Lord's second coming. You know, what are the two things? First of all, there should be a falling away. Falling away from what? If you see, the church was strong in truth when all the apostles were alive. But when the apostles died, you see, what happened? The church became weak. So many false preachers crept inside the church and they preached doctrines which are not scriptural. When all the apostles died, the church became weak in faith and in truth. So that is the time the Antichrist, you see, that means the false doctrines which were preached when apostles were alive, you see, they got the clear opportunity to preach it openly. You see? Preach it openly, and thus uh, the great Antichrist system uh, came to power. So, these two things, uh, what Apostle Paul mentions here, is already fulfilled before our eyes. Then, as per Apostle Paul's writings himself, then we need to search the second coming. So, first, these two things should happen before our Lord's second coming should happen. So, if these two things are fulfilled before our eyes, it is a very, very clear, you see, statement and warning from Apostle Paul to go and study the Lord's second coming. So, it is very important to know how our Lord will come, when he will come, and why he is going to come. So, generally, when you ask about Lord's second coming, what will the people reply? You see, the people reply saying, uh, Oh, Jesus is coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. He'll come very soon. Imagine, for an angel to come from heaven to earth, huh? how much time it will take? Home brother, how much time it will take for an angel to come from heaven to earth? How much time? Hmm. Exactly, don't know, but it, I think it doesn't take so long. Oh, very good. It won't take all, so long at all. We have example in the Bible. You see, Daniel was praying. Immediately, angel uh, came from heaven. Even before his prayer was over, the angel came and spoke to him. So if angel can come so fast, definitely our Lord Jesus can come much more faster. Then why? Still, uh, uh, no second coming. Every time we go and ask this question, everybody tells that Jesus is going to come very soon, very soon, very soon. I keep on telling the same thing, but how soon? They tell, no, we don't know. But he is going to come very soon. Therefore, you see, 
there are uh, so many churches in the world in the name of maranatha what is that words mean maranatha maranatha means uh, you see he will come very soon everybody will tell uh, oh jesus is coming very soon very soon initially i used to go to church uh, how many years before nearly 23 24 years before you see i used to go to the church huh? then that time uh, it was my first uh, you see experience uh, as a christian and i used to go and sit there and listen to their uh, sermons immediately one day uh, pastor told oh jesus is coming i thought oh, yo yo i am so much blessed oh, i come to the very holy church even jesus himself is coming to this church i was eagerly waiting to see jesus from starting to ending the told is coming 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 it not come at all i thought oh something might have happened sunday no he must visit all the churches then he did not come then i thought oh yo this week it got me to next week i'll come early so next week i came i sat down there again the same message oh jesus is coming very soon very soon then i what then i went and asked them brother you are telling Uh, Jesus is coming very soon. Uh, brother, where is not come? Why is missed two weeks? Please tell him to come. <laughs> Then they told, "No, brother, that's what the Bible says. Revelation, last chapter. Jesus will come very soon, very soon, very soon. So very soon means soon, 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 soon. But uh, that doesn't have sense at all. Huh? Soon means not at come. Even after two thousand years, the everybody are using the term same term." very soon very soon very soon see if you if you ask them when how soon they will tell no we don't know that is what uh, you see uh, my pastor also replied saying no nobody knows nobody knows about that one eh? even jesus also mentioned the same thing read mark 13:32 uh, home brother You can read in Nepal itself. Tara, this day, or this Kali, who be say ma, kasali jandai na. न त स्वर्ग में होने दूत अरुले न पुत्र ले तर पिता ले मात्रा पिता ले मात्रा सो नो बडी नोस ओनली फादर इन हेवन नो बडी नोस ऑफ द टावर द डे नॉट इवन एंजल्स टू नो बडी नोस ओनली गॉड नोस सो इफ यू टेल नो बडी नोस सो यू आल्सो डोंट आस्क वी आल्सो डोंट नो एंजल्स ओनली डोंट नो Jesus himself doesn't know, so only Father knows. How can we know? Okay. So Jesus told these words correctly, no doubt about it. But when did Jesus say these words? Ah, he told these words before his death on the cross. But what did he say after death on the cross? After death, Jesus was resurrected. you see he was given the highest of uh, the reward the divine nature he is now sitting next to the father and he is having all authority all authority in heaven is given to jesus you see hmm? read matthew 28 18 brother matthew 28 18 Uh, home brother, can you read? Yes, brother. Uh, Mark two twenty eight eighteen. Hmm. Tara. Ani tini aruka aira esu tini or sanga esa esu bande bolnu vau. Sorga ra prithvi ma sara adhikar malai diye gosa. See, full power in heaven and earth is given to Jesus. Did Jesus have the same power when he was on earth? 
before dying on the cross no all power in heaven and earth was not given to him but after resurrection everything is given to him no where is it given in the bible that it did not have before now it is given open revelation 5th chapter verses 1 to 6 correct brother revelation 5th chapter verses 1 to 6 read one by one we'll see one verse by one verse revelation 5th chapter 1 2 3 4 5 6 one by one yeah अनि मैले त्यस सिंहासनमाथि बस्नु हुनेको दाहिने हातमा भित्रपट्टि र बाहिरपट्टि देखिएको सातवटा मोर छापले छाप मारिएको एउटा पुस्तक देखे वन कन्टिन्यु टु अनि मैले एकजना शक्तिशाली स्वर्गदूतलाई देखे स्वर्गदूतलाई ठूलो स्वरले प्रचार गरिरहेका देखे यो पुस्तक खोल्न र यसका छापहरू तोड्न को योग्य छ it was printed inside and outside now what is this one you see who is this one who is having uh, you see this scroll in his hand it is our heavenly father god who is seated on the seat of authority he is having this bible which is printed inside and outside means what huh? inside nobody can read until you break open the seal but outside everybody can read so if you want to read what is inside the bible in depth study in depth clear understanding the seal should be opened but it is sealed with seven seals no now can somebody read it it is not possible so if you read it if you want to read it you need to open the seal break open the seal and open the scroll now it is sealed with how many seals seven what is the meaning of seven in the bible seven means a complete number Seven means a perfect number. You see, seven creative days, seven colors in the rainbow, seven lampstain. You see, seven days in a week. You see, seven, seven, seven. There are four more than four hundred times seven number appears in the Bible. So seven always means a complete number. That means the scroll is seven seals means completely the word of God is sealed. So verse two it says nobody is found worthy. to take the scroll open the seal and read it aha uh -huh. so nobody was worthy underline not even jesus was found worthy but later what happened verse 3 brother continue hmm ani tyu pustak khola ra tesma herna sakne na swarga ma na prithvi mathi na prithvi muni पुस्तक खोल सातवटा छापर तोर्नलाई यहुदा कुलको सिंह दाउदको जरा विजयी हुनु भएको छ यु सी ही वाज क्राइंग जान वाज क्राइंग नोबडी इज वर्थी टू ओपन द स्क्रॉल देन एल्डर कम्स एंड टेल्स डोंट वरी डोंट वरी डोंट क्राइ द लायन ऑफ द ट्राइब ऑफ जुडा हैज ओवरकम अंडरलाइन दैट वर्ड the lion of tribe of judah has overcome and found worthy to open the scroll so jesus was supposed to prove himself worthy to open the scroll now where did you prove it he proved it by his death on the cross so after proving it only he was found worthy 
the lion, the lamb of God was found worthy to open the scroll. So then what happened? All authority to Jesus was given. Therefore, Matthew 28, 18, Jesus says, all authority in heaven and earth is given to me. This was not given to Jesus before. If it was given, why would he tell that it is given to me now? So, it means that he has received the power only then, not before. No. no Jesus, he did not know when he is going to return. Not even the angels, only the father. But now, he is like the father. He is having the image of the father, sitting along with him on the throne. Now, doesn't he know? He knows it. He knows it very clearly. Therefore, when Jesus was on earth, you know, what did he say? He said, I will send the Holy Spirit. You see? And the Holy Spirit reveal you everything. John 16, 13, brother. John 16, 13. Hmm. Oh, brother. John 16, 13. Yes. Tapani Jabawa Arthat Satiko Atma Aununza Tabawale Timiolai Sabe Satita Vitra Doria Ununza Kinevani Wa Afne Tarabata Bolo Nitsaina Tara Wale Jesununiza Wa Te Bolo Nitsa Anivale Timiolai Aunikura Rupata Nunisa. See, then the Holy Spirit will come. He shall take you, lead you to all truth. All, all the hidden secrets was revealed. Uh -huh. When Holy Spirit was given. When, when was Holy Spirit given? When Jesus was resurrected, he went to the heaven. In 50th day on Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was poured upon the church. Now, now doesn't the church know it? The church knows it. The church, after receiving the Holy Spirit, they clearly know when will Jesus' incoming happen. How it will happen? Why it will happen? Read First Thessalonians five one brother. Tara bhai ho, bhai haru ho, samay ra bila bokhar ko visema. मैले तिमीहरुलाई लेख्नु पर्ने तिमीहरुलाई खाचो छैन अ छैन अ I need not no write unto you that means what अ I need not write unto you means you already know it you see you already know it अ कंटिन्यू बुद्ध नेक्स्ट अ किनकि राति चोर जसरी आउँछ प्रभुको दिन त्यसै नै आउँछ भने तिमीहरु आफैलाई राम्ररी थाहा uh, see, you know it very well. So why should I write you? He is uh, here, Apostle Paul is speaking about last second coming. So second coming is not necessary that I should keep on repeating to you. Why? Because the early church was clearly given the understanding and knowledge of Lord Jesus second coming. Uh -huh. See? Therefore, now is the time to study Lord's second coming. Not during the days of apostles. Now we are at the end of the age. Holy Spirit is poured upon all the uh, consecrated uh, children of God. Now is the time that we need to study second coming. So, by studying the second coming, we will be dividing this one into four parts. You see, the first and a very important part is why Jesus is going to come the second time. Why? Why is why he is going to come? Okay, that's the first thing. Second important thing is the general expectations of Jesus' second coming. Generally, what do the people think about uh, Jesus' second coming? How will Jesus come? What do they think about it? What is their idea? What is their opinion? Eh? Then we will see this one from the Bible. The third point we need to see how does Jesus come? How is going to come from heaven? You see? How is going to come and do what in this world? 
How is going to come? How can we see him? This thing we study. Then, how to identify whether it is our Jesus or somebody else? You see, Satan also can do it, no? He can do it, uh, but uh, how to identify whether it is Jesus or not? And the last part is that if Jesus has come, then when has he come? If Jesus is going to come, when will he going to come? See, when we tell that uh, I am going to come to your house, uh, it means that I am going to come to your house at a date, at a day, at a time. You see, everything should be there now. Date should be there. Day should be there. Hour also should be there now. So similarly, when the, he speaks about Jesus' second coming, this should also be in the same way. So these five important things are to be studied when understanding the second coming of Jesus. Now let us see the first part. Only today we are going to see the first part. Why Jesus is going to come in the second coming? Why? What is the use? Why does he want to come? You see, we have studied from class 1 till now. You see, what is the purpose of Jesus' second coming? What do you know, brother? What do you think? Why will Jesus come the second coming? Uh, I uh, know that he is not coming, coming, sec coming second time to save us, mm -hmm. but he is coming to. Uh, um, coming to taking take to take us to the heaven and there will be uh, other also to 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 judge us as well very good very good then anything else um well he he will give us some kind of uh uh, re reward as well if, if we do if we do good very good so he'll reward good but uh, Jesus will take the church to heaven but heaven what is. will he come and do on earth you could you told correctly exactly correct the church will be with Jesus but what is he going to do on earth when church is not there what is he going to do on earth when, when church is not there, there will be because there, we, there we are like uh, the someone already, um, you know, the sleep on Jesus, which would you, what you call, like someone uh, died by bodily. Hmm. Um, so he will uh, hmm. come to pick first then. Good. Then and then, hmm. then who who we are alive. So we will hmm. see him huh. in. Good. Good. Loud. Okay. But uh, uh, after the church is taken, what will Jesus do on earth? There will be um a uh, um thousand years. Very good. Very good, brother. He, he will do big, he will be a king for a thousand very years. Good, brother. Very good. That is the main and the important thing, brother. Very exactly. You told beautifully that Jesus is going to rule for a thousand years. So the main reason Jesus is going to come on this earth is to rule on this earth for a period of thousand years. He is going to rule for how many years? Sir? Not one, two, three, thousand years. Now, in thousand years, what is going to do? Huh? Now, you see the photo. So, what is going to do? Jesus. Tell me. Photo? Hmm. In the image you see, you know, something. Yeah. What is Jesus doing there? No, I do not... I don't see anything. Okay. So I'm sharing. Oh, uh, now, 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 no. 
Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Yes, now I see some uh, uh, it's kind mm. of the, 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 the kind of uh, um, time up like mm. book of Genesis, I think it's mm. like very good. So Jesus is uh, stamping the serpent. Remember what God told to Eve and Adam, the seed of the woman shall bruise the serpent head, crush the serpent head. Correct, no? Nah? Ah, so Jesus, when he's going to return, he is going to rule for thousand years and the next thing he's going to do is going to destroy Satan. Completely destroy Satan. He's going to bound him for a thousand years, we are going to completely destroy the devil and all his plan and purposes. Okay? Next thing, what Jesus is going to do? You see, he told no. Huh? He is going to reward everybody for the good. Not only for good, for bad also. So, Jesus is going to return to do judgment. So, judgment for a period of thousand years. Then you told correctly, huh? he is going to come to collect the church. You see, the church will be uh, with our Lord. Uh, you see, huh? so he comes to gather the church to himself. John 14, chapter 2 and 3. John 14, chapter 2 and 3, brother. John 14, 2 and 3. He is going to be mm. to prepare the place for this. Very good. Very good. Read where. Huh? So the... Two or three? Two and three. Mm. Mira Pitako Garma, Dere Bas San Arusan. Pisto no dota, Molitimi or Lai Boniti. Matimi or Kennedy Town Tar Paranjansu. Honey, Goyra Molitimi or Gal Nidi Town Tar Pare Pot Pare Boni. Mopiri Aunisu, Honey Mozatsu, Tia Timi or Rupani O Vanera, Motimi or Lai Apuka. So, Jesus is saying, in my father's house there are many mansions. If I go, I will prepare a place for you and come and take you back. So, Jesus is going to come and collect the church and take them to the father's mansion. So, he is going to come to collect the church, gather the church. Okay, next. Next is what, what he is going to do. He is going to bound Satan for a thousand Yes. Revelation chapter 20 verse 3 brother. Sorry. Revelation chapter 20 verse 2. Revelation 20 verse 2. Twenty verse 2. Ani tinle tis ajingar lai tis purano saap lai pakre जो डियाबोलोस र शैतान हो र त्यसलाई हजार वर्षका लागि बाँधे 1000 इयर्स बाउंडिंग में 1000 इयर्स व्हाई सो रोटी कैन जीसस कैन रूल एवरीबॉडी कैन कम टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ क्राइस्ट सो जीसस व्हेन ही इज गोइंग टू रूल ही इज गोइंग टू बाउंड शैतान देन ही इज गोइंग टू क्रश हिज हेड देन आफ्टरवर्ड्स व्हाट इज गोइंग टू डू व्हाट एल्स ही इज गोइंग टू डू विद दैट इन 1000 इयर्स Will anybody be alive on earth? Will anybody be on earth, brother, when Jesus is going to rule on this earth? The church will be gone with him. And who will be there on earth? Um, there will be other, other people. Very good, brother. There will be other people, those who don't believe in Jesus now, those who did not believe in our Lord now, they will all be 
resurrected. As they died, they come back to life on the same earth, in the same flesh. You see, they will come back to life. All the dead people, imagine, so many people for so many thousands of years, uh, they are lived. Everybody will come back to life. On the same earth, uh, you see, John 5.28, Buddha, read. John 5.28. Hmm. इस क्रम में अचम्म नमः किन्ह बने त्यो गाड़ी आय रहे को छह जस में ज्ञान वितर रहे कारु सब बैले उनको सोर सुनने चन हम्म सी एवरीबडी शेल हियर इज वाइज ऑल दैट आर इन द ग्रेव शेल कम अप अहां व्हेन जीसस इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न एवरीबडी विल कम अप ऑल द डिड पीपल विल कम बैक टू लाइफ इमेजिन you are a great, 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 great grandpa. All our great, great, great fathers, everybody will come back to life. All our dear ones who do not believe in Jesus now, everybody are going to come back to life. Okay. Now Satan will be bound. Everybody will come back to life. He will rule for a thousand years. Okay. Then do what? What? For what purpose? Huh? You told the first reason to save Everybody. Very good. Jesus is going to do all these things for a reason that is to save everybody. Read Hebrews 9.28, brother. Hebrew 9.28. तीसरी नहीं क्रिश्चियनी देरे ही जाना देरे ही जाना का पाप और बुकना एक पल्टो चढ़ाई नहीं बायो अनि वहाँ को बाटो ये देरु कहाँ वहाँ दूसरों पटक बिना पाप मुक्ति का निम्ति देखा पानो होने सा मुक्ति मुक्ति फेवरेट बड़ी सेल्वेशन फेवरेट बड़ी फॉर दैट इज़ द मेन रीज़न Jesus is going to return second coming. So, this is the first part. Why Jesus is going to come? What is the, what is the necessary? Everybody thinks that man dies, he goes to heaven and hell. If they go to heaven and hell, why did Jesus uh, come again? Why has to Jesus come again? And do for a thousand years. So, this is the main second reason. You see? So, next part is generally what do the people think about Jesus' second coming? How Jesus is going to return? How Jesus will come? What is the general understanding? You see? We will see. But uh, we will see this one next week. Okay? Because this is a very detailed part. Okay? So, instead of taking only for a few minutes and then cutting it off, we will completely see how the expectations of Jesus' second coming he is. How he is going to come. Okay, brother? So, next week, we will continue. Okay. Till now, any questions or any doubts you have, brother? You can ask. Any questions, home brother? Um, 